Welcome to another better FAQ video. Today I want to talk about in this age of COVID-19, COVID-19 versus commercial leases. So I have another video on COVID-19 and just general contractual things that you can do that you can't do that you might want to try to do given how much this is disrupting our economy and basically everyone's work and what they can do. So this video is specifically designed to talk about commercial leases and whether or not COVID-19 will give you any relief with regard to fulfilling and paying on that commercial lease. Now, the first thing to talk about is what is called a force majeure clause or sometimes called an act of God clause. These clauses are designed to essentially give relief to the contractual parties for some type of act of God or force majeure, meaning something that is beyond the control of the parties to the contract. So much so that the performance of the contract is rendered impossible or illegal. Now, that second piece is going to be probably the more important piece with relation to COVID-19 because of the fact that with some of these state and local mandates to stay home that are legal mandates that can be enforced by the rule of law, then if you have a contract that is for, let's say, an event, then that is going to be very relevant. But for the purposes of leases, now leases, if your lease space that you pay your lease payments for is a gathering space of some sort, so related to the events, and it is literally illegal and thus impossible to gather people in your space that you're paying rent on under that commercial lease, then maybe you have a force majeure argument because those state or local mandates have made it illegal for you to do your business purpose, which is what pays the lease payment. But you can see how there's a couple leaps there, right? Well, the fact of the matter is you can still pay your lease and that is still legal and that is still possible, which you may dispute the how possible that is if you're not making revenue. But from the landlord's perspective, and keep in mind that in all of these conversations when it comes to contracts, the only firm answer you can ever get on whether or not a contract should provide you relief is if you go to court, pay a lot of money, and ultimately have a judge render that decision that there's no guarantee will be in your favor. So all of these conversations are about how much you can get that landlord to move, or if you're the landlord, how much you can get that tenant to move. And so a lot of the time, and maybe the overall recommendation here is to always try to work something out outside of the language of the lease because that's most likely the best way that you're going to get relief that works for you is if you can work something out with that landlord or if you're a landlord and you can work something out with that tenant that makes sense for both parties, which in this COVID-19 situation, it's very disruptive. And so hopefully you can work out something. But going back to the leaps that you have to make on that argument. If you're looking at the force majeure clause, there is going to be that argument of, well, if I cannot do whatever my business does, I cannot pay the lease. And of course, that makes sense. That renders it impossible for you to pay the lease. However, again, the landlord is going to take the stance of, well, you may not be able to pay your lease, but what the lease is for, for you to pay that lease is still legal. It is still possible. It's your problem that gathering people in the space is now illegal or impossible. You need to figure out another way to make revenue or pay for your lease. Now, that's if you have a force majeure clause in your lease. Most leases in this sort of modern template of leases that you'll see, there's the air real estate sort of template that is almost always a commercial lease. Um, and then there's other templates that maybe aren't that template, uh, but from more modern years. But about maybe 20, 30 years ago, all of the force majeure clauses have been removed from leases. They used to be in there, they used to be in all the templates. Nowadays, most likely, your lease will not have a force majeure clause. And so the entire argument that I was just talking about probably is inapplicable and irrelevant because without a force majeure clause, you cannot then rely on force majeure for relief in your contract or your commercial lease. So if there's no force majeure clause, you can certainly try to talk with the landlord, like I said, about this is a force majeure event. If, there's, if this is not an act of God event, a force majeure event that's beyond all of our control, what is, right? So you can try to still work that out. However, there is another standard that might be helpful, which is frustration of purpose. So 
if you are now going back to that argument, you have a gathering space, an event space, something where you are basically unable to conduct the business that you have that space for. Well, the lease purpose is now frustrated. You are under this lease in order to have that space to do that business function, which is now frustrated by these local and national and state mandates. So maybe you can argue frustration of purpose, and that may be something that is enough leverage or persuasive enough to convince your landlord to let you out of your lease. However, keep in mind, again, the only real way to push that issue and get a firm decision made is to go to court. And with frustration of purpose, it is actually a very high legal standard. It is difficult to draw the connection amongst these different points that I'm making that all then result in either it being impossible, illegal, or a total frustration of purpose for you to continue under that lease because, again, there are certain junctures where a landlord or a court may say, well, you can figure out another way to pay that lease. You can still pay the lease despite the fact that you can't do what your business does and that may be very frustrating, but it is not a frustration of purpose. So let's kind of give a brief recap on this commercial lease versus COVID-19 situation. Number one thing you wanna do is try to reach out to your landlord early and work it out with them outside of whatever is in your lease because most likely that lease and the legal standards that are applicable are not helpful. So what are those? Force majeure. If you have a force majeure provision in your lease, that may allow you to have some relief if you and your landlord can agree on the fact that this situation has caused it to be illegal or impossible for you to continue to perform under the lease. The second one will be frustration of purpose. If you can sort of show or at least get the landlord to agree that because of how frustrated the purpose of your business is, the purpose of the lease is frustrated and you should be let out of it because you can no longer perform. Again, however, if you're unable to convince your landlord of any of these things, the only way to get a firm decision that would give you relief is to go to court and chances are going to court is going to cost just as much as it would have been to pay off the remainder of that lease because court is just inefficient and expensive and really just not good for either party. But I do hope that this was helpful to give you some basic fundamental sort of bearings on what it looks like with a commercial lease and you're dealing with COVID-19 difficulties with your business. There is more in-depth things that we can talk about. Please contact us if you need to look at your lease. But again, hope this was helpful. Hope you tune in again. And I hope you're staying safe and sane during this crazy time.